Hey everyone, welcome back. So in the previous video, we have seen how we can upgrade our package dependencies. Now, currently version is eight and we might be working or some people might be working from version seven or previous versions. And if you need to migrate to version eight, you might be thinking if you are able to update like packages with the NPM install and NCU, we can up migrate to version eight. But it's not that straightforward because with version eight, there has been some change in your configurations uh, that has come. So in this video, let's explore, uh, you know, what we have to do, how we can upgrade from version seven to eight and what config file we have to change. So let's get into it. Now, before we start, first thing, if you are using version 14, so you have, or, or before or previous, you have to move to at least version 16 or, or probably 18. Now let's check, there's a blog written an official website of a web driver IO. So if you see, if you go to, this is your homepage. And if you go to blogs, there's a first blog is web driver version eight release. And if you read it in detail, uh, it'll say drop node JS version 12, 13 or 14 support. That means you expect to have version at least 16 or 18, which is the LTS version. So make sure you upgrade your versions I have already explained in my configuration video how you can use node version manager NVM instead of using node. So you can manage multiple versions. For example, if I say NVM list now, and this I've already explained in my setup video, which I have, I'll link in the description as well. So I have three versions currently, and this project I have taken as a sample. This is not from the playlist that which I have started for version eight. This is my old code where I'm using version seven. And this is a Mocha type, Mocha and TypeScript framework itself. So it's just pretty similar from what we are doing, but it's just version seven. So for this particular version seven, I, I'm using uh, version 14 of Node. And if I'll show you if this code works perfectly fine. So yeah, it's a browser is loading and see the two test cases already passed. That means my version seven is working fine, but because we are getting the latest changes in version eight, let's migrate our this project to version eight. So first thing you should do is update your node version. If you are in version 14 or older, move it to 16, minimum to 16 or 18. I have already downloaded in my NVM version 18. So if I see I'll here, I have version 14, 16, 18. Let me just move to 16. So I'll say NVM use 16 and it will start using node space hyphen V if I say, then I'm in version 16 now. So this is the first thing. Now, first let's, we have to update these packages and we already know how we can update our packages. We have seen in the previous video. So first things let's download. This is the package that we'll download. So I'm going to download this package. Now, once you try to download your packages in your node versions, you know, WDIO 7 in with your latest version, when you are migrated node to 16 or 18, you might get installation error. Okay, so it has worked. Okay, there is no issue. But sometimes you might get some error with a PR dependency error. So what you can do, if you are facing such issues with the NPM install package, you can say hyphen hyphen force and it will force to update the previous. This might be, I'll try to cover that issue in, in some other video, but if you get installation error with some peer dependency issue, if you see, just add hyphen hyphen force and it's going to work for you as uh, usual. So yeah, we have downloaded the P NPM check updates, which will help me to update the package. I'll say NPX NCU to check the versions. Again, I have covered this in the previous video. So if you're not sure, you can check the previous video. So see that it's showing the latest version 8.2, but our, we are still in 7.9. So let's say NPX NCU hyphen U, which will update the, these packages. Now, if you see the packages will become eight. Yeah. So this package has become eight now. Now, once it, it has become eight, you have to say NPM install, even it is suggesting you here NPM install. So NPM install or I and then based on this, it will start downloading the latest dependency. You might get something like this error. So if you face error and your download doesn't work, add hyphen hyphen force. For me, it worked because I have already added hyphen hyphen force previously when I was trying it out. So it downloaded the latest packages. Now we are updated to version eight, but this is not enough. So what you have to see, so let's check in the blog what changes we have. So first uh, is 
node js version 13 14 and 12 has been dropped so it will not work with the version 8 you have to use version 16 or 18 of node version if you are using docker and if you're using alpine and node image 14 then you have to move it to 18 we are not using as of now docker so we're not going to cover this the bigger chunk was to migrate from common js to esm transition now what is common js and what is esm there is a link i'll share you uh, in the description as well you can go through in the detail but in a nutshell we used to you know common js uses require to import any files whereas esm uses import statement to you uh, import any files and if you want to export we used to do model dot exports in common js whereas export you have to use export keyword to export the data in the ESM module. And there are others like it's asynchronous, it's asynchronous, it assigns helps top level await. And also this ESM is supported by all modern browsers, though larger chunk of code uh, in, in the Node.js world is still in the common JS, but slowly we'll be migrating to ESM and that's why it's good to adapt from now itself. So these are the changes. This is a big chunk of change avail, uh, has come in WebDriver IO where we have migrated or transitioned from common JS to ESM. Then there is a, some unit component testing. We are not going to cover this because we are not using the list. We have a new action API interface, which we'll cover in the later videos. We have BIDAR support, which again, we'll see later. And there is some import statement, global import statement has been changed. So to change that, what we have to do in your TS config file, first we used to have WebDriver IO sync. So if I'll show you in my version seven project, it's WebDriver IO sync is the package here, here are the types, but now it is changed to WDIO global types. So remove this and add this one in your tsconfig.json file. So I'll update this comma, right? This is done. Uh, this is one thing. Now, another thing you are using here target as ES 2009. Instead of that, you should be using ES next as a target remove module as well then yeah we have updated this we have to remove module now if you go back in the code these are some configuration same earlier we used to have browser.config dot and any other file now we have browser.options dot and other configuration files also if you are using ts config path in your project where you have you know updated your paths in, in using ts config because as of now version 8 doesn't support it it was there was some issue so it will not work so if you have ts config path configurations in your project uninstall and remove it from anywhere and then just submit it because this is not going to work right so that is the change now one more thing which is not documented here is we have to go to the configuration file and in version 7 we had a wdio config as a type for config now this has changed so you have to do import options from at the rate wdio types and then the, here instead of delivery i configure to say options dot oh, we are not getting let's see what is the issue okay so it's saying cannot find wdi did you mean model resolution so you have to set modern resolution as well so you have to say here model resolution to node and then if you go back again the error will go away and then options dot test runner so this is the type now earlier it was wdio config now we have options of test runner as the type for the test runner so yeah these are the changes we have updated our packages first we have updated our node version to 16 then we have updated the dependency here using uh, npm check updates then we have removed here uh, sync webdriver io slash async and we have added a global types we have updated target as es next added model resolution to node and then in the configuration file we have added import statement options from wdio types and updated the type here options dot testner so with that i think we have done all the changes and let's try to run the test now so if i say npm run test our code should still work perfectly fine with the version 8 changes and yeah it has executed so it is executing the test and it has passed as well so we have successfully migrated to version 8 
we have updated the configurations it's not very complicated it's very minor changes but once you upgrade and you have a larger project you might see some issues so if you face any issues you can always reach out to the web driver guitar channel where there are so many community members who can support you can leave your issues in the comments if possible i'll try to you know respond yeah so with that we have upgraded our project from version 7 to version 8 and it's working fine so uh, this is the way that we do that's what i'll show you that's all for the video thank you so much